hello everyone and welcome back to Good Knit Kisses. I'm your host Kristen and today is the day that we have our GKK Live. Welcome back. Oh gosh, today has already been a busy day. I went out and saw my son. They had a Polar Express day at his school and he had to have, make a box um, that looked like one of the trains and or like his own theme of train today. So I had to go, I, I had to, I went to my, uh, my kiddos school, uh, to watch a little parade. Uh, so <laughs> I'm just a couple of minutes coming back from that. So, uh, good morning. Sorry for the lateness. Um, if you're joining me on the replay, thank you. I still love having you guys come on the replay. It's fun to hear your comments later. And especially on this broadcast, um, I would really like to see your feedback. So if you can leave it in the comments below, that'd be wonderful. Um, um, or you can head over to YouTube, uh, go to youtube.com slash goodknitkisses and hit the community tab. And I have um, all kinds of stuff there to um, to answer or uh, into the future, I should say, because I did a um, a thing this uh, over the over the weekend or last week, uh, and I asked. I, I used the community tab for the first time, so I think I'm going to start using that there. Uh, so anyway, I'll tell you all a little bit more as you're hopping on. I know people are hopping on live, but um, the, for the replay people, I want to just say uh, go over there to really. Um, Give me feedback. So welcome everyone to the live broadcast. Um, ah, I've got a notification on my thing. Okay, there it goes. <laughs> like I can't see you uh, good morning everyone good morning uh, I, if you, you're catching me uh, just jumping on live I'm a little late my uh, my kiddo up at uh, the elementary school had to, um, polar Express day and they had to make these boxes um, look like trains they had to pick a theme of a train and then they all paraded around on their pajamas um, wearing these boxes going around the school in laps and stuff it was so cute so um, yeah, it was like my my third kiddo to go through that. And so I was like, I can't miss the last one. So anyway, I'm hopping on a little late because of that. Good morning, everyone. Hi, Judy and Carol. Hey, Angel and Brenda. Hey, Alicia and Mickey and Kasid. Hi, Carol and JJ. Hey, Allison, Judy. Yes. Hello. Merry Christmas, Judy. Hi, Heather and Tambi and Robin. Hi, Kristen. Kristen with an I in. I'm Chris's 10. Don't forget again. <laughs> hey, Angel, you love Polar Express Day? Yeah, it's so sweet. They let the kids, the kids um, come to school in their pajamas and, and everything. And um, and my, hus my, my husband, my son accidentally wore, he wore these Chewbacca pajamas that um, I think they have them at Walmart. We got them from a friend. Um, anyway, um, no, we didn't go out for my sister-in-law, Louisa. If you've ever seen her type on here, that's my sister-in-law. Anyway, and but he had his coat on top of it. I'm like, you forgot about your coat. Anyway, and he he made a box that looked like a spaceship. And so in his spaceship, he wanted wings. So we cut these little flips and he, these little slits. And he had these little paddle tiny wings that like he could. <laughs> it was like a, a flying train car. Anyway. Um, <laughs> hey, Gail in Australia, South Australia. Welcome. Oh, look at the little choo-choo trains. <laughs> is that what that is, Abby Angel? <laughs> That's fun. Yes, family comes first, Alicia. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's it's really fun. It's really fun. Um, okay, so I want to tell you guys about the community um, tab over on the YouTube channel. This is a new thing. Um, not every YouTuber has it. So um, if you can't find it, I'll, I'll see if I can get the link. Um, I don't know if it appears different for me, but um, apparently you have to have over 10,000 subscribers to have this um, unlocked or something. I'm not sure if that's right, but there's a little tab on there. And um, so you should see it only on select channels. But if you go to youtube.com slash kisses and then click on this community tab um, on my page, then there is this place where I can start doing polls and questions and stuff. And it's almost like 
having, I know it sounds weird, it's almost like having our own Facebook, but if I put a poll on there, when you pop on to your, um, if you're, if you're signed into YouTube, here, here's the thing is if you're not signed on to YouTube, you, you should, because it's got a lot of benefits to you. Um, if you have a Gmail account, you pretty much already have one. So if you're signed in, especially on the app and a lot of people um, view it on their mobile device, um, it's great because you can see all your subscriptions there. Even if you don't get the, um, alerts in your email or something, you can see them all in your feed. Well, if I post a poll to see what you guys want, or I say something, or I post a picture from my life or whatever I feel like doing, um, which I would not do it more than once a day. And right, right now I'm only doing it like maybe once a week cause I just started. Um, I don't want to slam you with a whole bunch of stuff, but I figured that would be a really great way for me to post to you all and um, anyway and ask you questions. So I asked people what they want to see going forward into 2018 there and that would be a really great spot for you guys all to say. Now of course you're welcome to say in here I would love to hear your feedback today and I will still keep this video um, to, to know but um, I won't be able to get to everything and some of it I may already have in the works but I would really love to hear from you guys on that. So um, go over to that community tab later on and um, um, put in your stuff and then uh, if I have a poll or something like that you'll be able to see it so um, and then I can do announcements and the nice part about the community tab is let's say I'm traveling and I'm gonna be in near a certain city I could totally be like hey I'm gonna be in Atlanta or I'm gonna be here where's a great yarn shop or you know is there a hangout everybody goes to and maybe you know I could do a meetup or something like that so um, <laughs> Um, oh, Kristen, she says, my niece is always so excited to watch you with me. Oh, is she with you? That's so fun. Hello. <laughs> um, awesome. Is that your niece in the picture? I see the little picture with two people in it. It's so hard to see. They're like so tiny. Um, anyway, hey, Julie, I see you watching. And Carol, thank you so much for that YouTube link. That's so fun. Um, and Elizabeth, good morning. How are you? Hi, Gail. Yeah, so I'm so glad to see you all. Okay, so we don't have as many people jump on. It's real, I'm real bad. When I don't jump on right at nine o'clock, um, I don't, uh, not as many people are here. So I, and I feel bad because <laughs> they didn't go with the notification, I guess. Um, so anyway, I'm so glad that you're all on. Hello <laughs> in the feed. Yeah, that's her. Oh, awesome. She's cute. Aw, her little pink. Um, hey, Susan, I'm seeing you jump on. How are you today? We get my coffee. Everybody got their coffee or tea. And uh, our, our UKers are like, I've got my tea and biscuits. And I'd be like, that's a cookie. That's what that is. That's a cookie. That ain't no biscuit. I know, I know. We came second. <laughs> Kristen says she's three and tries to learn to knit with me. But she doesn't have the attention span just yet. Yeah, I know. It's different. You know, some kids... They really surprise you, and they want to knit or crochet super early. Like, I've seen other, not my kids, like other three-year-olds be really attentive and want to do that kind of stuff, and, like, can really, like, just keep going. And then, but most other kids, they'll have an interest, and then there's, like, fleeting for five minutes, and they want something else. So, ooh, Robin has apple cider. Oh, that sounds good. Mmm. Oh, Susan said had to grab coffee. I know. So, um, ooh, it's one a and one thirty a.m. Gail. Oh, I'm so I'm privileged that you're up with me. Oh, can you not sleep? <laughs> well, if you're like me, you're working on projects. <laughs> one more row. One more row. <laughs> hey, Liz, good to see you hopping on. Um, so yeah, I did not get my coffee. I ran out of the house so fast. My other daughter was late for school this morning. She overslept. Um, so you guys, I had some crazy, crazy this weekend. I brought my knitting bag with me. By the way, here's my knitting bag. Um, I have some fun news. <laughs> We're getting really close and I want to tell you all my news. I didn't even want to put it on the thing, but for the small amount of people that are here, you get to see. So now this is not the bag, but this, the people who create this bag are making a good knit kisses bag. Yeah. So this is, um, my, um, let me close it up. This is from Aaron Lane bags and Lindsay over Aaron Lane bags. Um, and look at this. This is my stormtrooper bag. <laughs> she calls it stormtrooper skulls. <laughs> um, but this is my project bag and I put it, I've got my little deal here and it has this on it. And, um, 
I forget which style bag this is. Anyway, it's got kind of a square bottom on it. And uh, anyway, so I'm doing one. I'm trying to find my, my case here. Where's my case? Oh, here, 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 here. Let me show you. So this is something called Sheeple. And Lindsay is making me a bag with a character on it that has... Uh, okay, wait. Let me show you what this looks like because she's going to make... She's making me a custom one. I haven't seen the final fabric yet, but I've seen the characters she's putting on there. So this is the one that we're, we're kind of getting it similar to, and it looks like this. Do you see these little sheep? So this guy is a crocheter, and he's made an amigurumi little sheep. Okay, so there's the crochet hook. And then this guy, well, this is a painter. This is the this is the crafty one, okay? Um, and, and it'll be a bag, a large bag. And then this one is the spinner. You see this the spinner sheeple? And then where is the oh here's the knitter. I'm trying not to let my stuff come out. This is the knitter. Do you see the knitter? And so we have a spinner and a knitter and a crocheter, and we're going to have two loom knitters. Two loom knitters. So, <laughs> so seriously, so like we're getting a custom fabric for Good Knit Kisses, and it's going to be a custom craft bag. So you're going to have um, a, like a large, a large bag that, um, from Erin Lane Bags, and it's going to have two loom knitters, crochet, knit, and a spinner. So it's got all these yarn-tastic things. Isn't that fun? Ah! <laughs> I think we're going to put a little bitty small Good Knit Kisses logo on it, but, you know, anybody can get them. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I can't wait. I was really, really hoping to, like, have the bags done by now, but it took a little longer to do the design. So we're still waiting on that hump. So I'm hoping that we have them for sale by my birthday. Uh, my birthday is New Year's Eve, <laughs> so what she'll do is once we get the design done, then she needs time to make them, and then they're going to be a limited supply. I think we're going to do 75, and then um, if you guys like it, we're starting off with a large bag because um, I think it's like a 15 by 15 square because you can fit like a hat loom in there, and um, of course you can fit like a sock loom and stuff. It's, you can fit a hat loom in your other yarn and stuff. So yeah, so awesome, right? And I picked something that was kind of a mid range on price, so it's not like because she has some really nice bags that are like they for some budgets might be kind of expensive, but this one's like really reasonably priced and they're well made. Um, this bag right here, like it's not coming open you know, like this, and um, you have to put your fingers in and pull it, okay, and then you just pull the drawstring closed like that, but it doesn't come open unless you're you're pulling on it to do it, like put your fingers in and pop out, so yeah, I know, so it'll be a buy fast thing, so I want you guys to know it's a limited supply, and y'all are like my everydayers, you know, or well, every week, <laughs> And so um, I would love it if you guys had them. Isn't that fun? Give me some hearts if you like that. <laughs> you love that. If you love that. If you just like it, hit the thumbs up. But if you love it, hit the heart. <laughs> so, yeah. <coughs> oh, look at all the hearts flying. Yay. Mm. Carol, uh, Carol got a bag and... Um, I sent, I sent her some stuff for some bags uh, so she can tell you if she likes her bags. Um, but yeah, they're really well done. And she has lots of varieties on her site. So anyway, I'm so excited. I gotta go scroll back through these comments. <laughs> ah, oh, cool. Has a ladybug. Uh, they're my favorites. Let's see. Oh, cool. Thanks, Gail. Um, let's see how fun. It's so cute. <laughs> Loom knitting sheep. I can't tell you how cute they are. Joanne has seen, um, has seen like some of the preview and I don't even want to tell you cause you're going to be like, hyster you're going to be like, I have to have this bag. <laughs> like seriously. So what I did is I sent her some pictures, um, to give to the artist of, um, kind of some fun, you know, some pictures of looms and some stuff, you know, cause I'm like, well, I don't know if they know what a knitting loom is, but, um, anyway, yeah. 
There is an S loom involved, I'm just gonna say. <laughs> so there's two of them. Anyway, I am so, oh, <laughs> Lisa. I'm sorry. Uh, she says, Lisa's been on all these live sales. She's been with me as I've been doing this. And she says, I've reached my limit on Erin Lane bags. <laughs> What's just one more? Just one more, honey. Just stop. Don't buy any more right now. <laughs> but here, here's the thing. So I think we'll be, I, I think... I think she said that we can get this done by my birthday. Because I was like, well, my birthday is New Year's Eve. Because she goes, I don't think we'll be able to start selling them until the end of the year. And I'm like, but that's my birthday. So, I'm like, come on, we'll have a party on my birthday. Everybody in the world parties on my birthday. Except the Chinese. They they celebrate at a different time. But that's okay. <laughs> that's my brother-in-law. He's He celebrates later. <laughs> but he can celebrate with me. Anyway, that's totally random. <laughs> random fact. Random fact. My brother-in-law is Chinese. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah, you want one, Kristen? <laughs> I want one. I'm like, I forgot to ask her, are you going to send me one? <laughs> I'm just excited to get one. Um, yeah, so if you if this goes well, the sale goes well, then we will continue to have them and maybe pick a different bag and then we'll have a whole collection of them and um she has like okay so what i have right now is i have these different project bags so this is one of them and then this is another one it's really cool it's got like this gold gold foiling thing on it but the one that we're gonna do is a really cool custom sheeple which are really fun this one holds my double pointed needles it's um it's like a i'm trying to remember it's called the ultimate i think and it has um it has a pocket, so you open it up, there's a pocket up here, and then there's a flap, boop, for my DPNs, and then there's like all my needles here, and I actually have two of them. These are all my interchangeables. Um, that's actually my backup one, and then I have another one that looks like this. Where's my other one? Oh, and here's the matching, this is a matching zipper bag. See, with the little bottom, and it has this little hook on it and then it zips so she just started doing zipper bags so this is the matching one and then they had that little fob on it and you can use it as a key fob too I use my, I have another one as a key fob and then I have this other interchangeable one because I have so many needles and then this is her other sheep so see the little sheep with the with the knit on it and then on the inside she has this little peekaboo <laughs> the peeking sheep in the knit in the knitting isn't that fun? So anyway, very exciting. So I can't wait. So that's what's coming up at Good Knit Kisses. So custom fabric. Um, I would love to get to the point to where we would have like fat quarters of custom fabric for, um, you know, for like lining bags and stuff. Would that be fun? Um, let me know if you would like fat quarters maybe in the new year later on. Um, right fat quarters <laughs> so if you want to sew into your crochet or knitting or whatever kind of project um let me leave this up here oh, i don't want my chair rolling over my stuff um carol says love my Erin lane bag can't wait for the gkk bag to come out um <laughs> joan says i now know what i want for christmas well here's the deal so like if you get some gift money for christmas you know like like a deb Visa debit card or something, hold on to it because <laughs> you'll be able to get it. And I'll see if Aaron will do maybe a live sale for us, which would be really fun. Um, maybe we could, maybe we could do that. I wonder, oh, I wonder if I could have her on. <gasps> would y'all want me to do a live sale? We'll have to see because she'll, she'll have it on her website where we can buy like that. But wouldn't that be amazing to do a live sale? <laughs> um <laughs> Um, it's, and they go fast when she does these live sales, like stuff goes fast. So, um, I, I can't even tell you, um, where do we look for these bags? Okay. So if you go to Aaron Lane, I think it's Aaron Lane bags.com or Aaron Lane.com. I don't have the thing in front of me, but it's E R I N L A N E. Okay. So Aaron Lane bags. Anyway, she's on Facebook and, um, anyway, she is, um, she she actually goes to a lot of different uh, fiber shows and sells there as well. Um, she comes to um, DFW Texas and Stitches. Um, yeah, so anyway, really well made. Um, let's see. Alicia says, have you seen Needle Holder or Nook? Uh, she made, oh, made from fabric while knitting. Um, 
or you don't have to use a small. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. She's got lots of different needle holders, though. Um, and I love, there's this one. Oh, hang on, hang on. Um, Luminators might like this, and this is one that I've considered doing a custom fabric in. Um, this one, I'm trying to remember the name of it, but um, it rolls out. So, roll out. Roll out. <laughs> you can put your, um, this is DPNs, but you could put your loom hooks in here. You know, all your different loom hooks um, and crochet hooks. Um, and then it just um, rolls up. So you you flip this over like that. And then you roll it up. I'm trying to do it on camera. And it's not working. So you roll it up. And then you put this part on here. And there's a magnet that keeps it closed. So it's really good. She's got these magnets worked into some things. Um... <laughs> Hey, Elizabeth, have fun at Dunkin', Dunkin Donuts for coffee. Uh, get me one. I'll have a, uh, a, a chocolate-filled... Uh... <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Mary, you love this? That's awesome. Where can you get them? Yeah, try try Aaron Lane. But they're not ready yet. This is, a, this is your early warning, okay? So this is, like, going to happen in a few weeks where we'll be able to purchase in a few weeks. So she's got to... We've got to finalize the fabric. I'm telling you all a little too early, so don't go bother Aaron, uh, Lindsay. At Erin Lane. Don't don't ask her yet, because I'll let you know. But y'all, this is your advanced like shh warning. So if you wanna keep it on the down low, keep it on the hush hush between us right now. <laughs> I'll have to tell my boyfriend about them, Kristen says. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, save save the save the gift cards, the Visa gift cards or whatever you get them for Christmas. And I think she takes I think she takes PayPal. I think she takes PayPal too. I think that's right. Yeah, she takes PayPal, which I love. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, grab me a Boston cream, Ellie says. Don't forget the order, Elizabeth. Um, <laughs> Lisa has a crafting sheeple. Viewy coming. <gasps> I ordered that too, Lisa. Oh, I can't wait. Well, I ordered it because I wanted to see if maybe we want to do that one. Okay, yeah, that one's really cool too. It's a bag that has a handle on it. It's a little bit more expensive, but it's got this see-through part where you can see your project on the inside. So um, I just purchased one too. I think those are fifty-five, but the but the large bag is going to be small, less than that. I think the large bag is like, I think it's like twenty-five or something. I wanted to keep the price down, so um, I earn a little bit on the sale. Um, but it's uh, she's supposed to be keeping the price the same as she normally keeps them. It'll just be. Um, if you get the Good Knit Kisses one, then of course I would earn something on it. My whole thing is, I just want a bag. I think it'd be fun. I wanted a bag that had a loom knitter on it. Like, really? Um, yeah. <laughs> um, oh my goodness, too cute, Angel says. Uh, they were on selling the other night and I kept seeing which number I wanted and they kept overlooking me. Oh, so I didn't get one. Um, was so upset. Oh, sorry, Liz. Um, yeah, you have to say, well, you have to hit um, when she does a live sale, you have to click on the Google Doc. If she does a live sale where we have to do it and you have to do a Google Doc, then what I'll do is I'll let people know in advance to go ahead and fill out her Google Doc. Basically, it's just a form that lets her know your name and your email so she's already got it. Because she, what she does is she invoices you. And then as long as you pay within 24 hours, that thing that you claimed in the live sale is yours. Otherwise, like when you buy on her website, you can buy at any time. Um, yeah, so her stuff's for sale on her website, but the live sales are things that she just made, and then she sells the extras on her website, but they're the things that are already made. You can go check her website, so anytime. Um, just tell her I sent you. <laughs> um, Robin says fat quarters. <laughs> Teresa says there's just too many to choose from on the website. I know, I know. Well, and then that way, like when we get the large bag, you'll be able to see what size it is. And then I could show you like all the different things that I could fit in there. Would you guys like that? And I could be like, okay, you can fit this in here. You can fit this in here. This is your project. <laughs> so, um, yeah. And she's got all the dimensions on her website. She's really good about giving you the sizes because you might go, oh, this is really big. But then you look at the size and you're like, okay, maybe not. Let me get this other size or whatever. So, um, Jennifer has the Larry, you have the Larry. She's got a holiday Larry. <laughs> it's really limited. I'm not sure if there's going to be any left, but, um, she was doing a live sale and Larry, um, the sheep, 
So he looks like one of the sheeples, but he's kind of like, um, you guys like the, um, what's that cat that, um, has the, um, the frowny face, grumpy cat, grumpy cat. And so it looks, Larry's kind of grumpy and he's like, ho, he's like dressed like it's, um, Christmas instead of saying ho, ho, ho. It's just, it just says ho period. <laughs> it's just like, I think he's sitting in a chair, right? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah. And then some of them have like superlatives with, with like a hashtag, you know, bleeping it out. <laughs> I guess I guess the word would be bleeding. <laughs> bleat bleating, isn't that what a sheep does? They bleat. <laughs> so they bleat the beep. <laughs> uh, yeah, she's got a fun sense of humor. Um, yes, Al Lisa says Aaron Lane Bags has a face group, um, Aaron Lane Bag Buddies. And, um, yeah, so, ooh, that's an alert telling me I have a phone call in 30 minutes. Okay. I'm like, ooh, let me see if I can snooze that. Snooze. Can I snooze that? Yes, I can. Okay. I'm like, I don't want to not have that alert come up. Um, thank you for the link, Carol. Um, don't buy anything yet. Y'all wait until the bag comes out. Okay, so if you're just joining me, um, we have these awesome bags. Erin Lane makes these um, beautiful bags. Oh, Lisa at Erin Lane. Um, her name's not Erin. Um, anyway, but th this is my Stormtrooper skull bag. <laughs> He's upside down right here. Here's one that's right side up. And um, anyway, we're making one of the sheeple. Let me get the other thing out. Uh, that's going to be for good knit kisses. And one is a crocheter, one's a knitter, one's a spinner. We've got the spinning wheel and everything. And then we're going to have a couple of, um, this is the crafting one. They look like this. And then we're having made, this is the um, crochet one. And um, if you get the crafting one, like there's a, a Bob, <laughs> the painter. And then we have just a, a, a simple sheeple by himself. And then we have a um, one who's beading, like doing bead work. And then this one's, uh, yeah, there's Bob the Painter, and Bob Ross, you know. And then we've got the spinner, and then we got a knitter, if you can see. <laughs> Not fun. <laughs> He's going. <laughs> and then, the, oh, there's one um, with the sewing machine. Um, here's a sewing machine one. See if you sew. So this is the crafting one. Oh, <laughs> there's, there's bleeping or bleeding. <laughs> there's, see. <laughs> Um, anyway, so this is a crafting one. What we're doing one is going to be two loom knitters on there for the Good Knit Kisses crowd. And we'll probably have a little of the Good Knit Kisses logo um, on there, I think, maybe. Um, so I'm waiting on the final thing. Um, anyway, so that is what's happening. And so we're, we're working on the final fabric. And then we'll have a limited sale for, I think it'll be 75 uh, people. Now... Um, the next run I could do more, it'll tell me how fast they sell out. If I need to, um, we need to do some, um, more the next time we do one. So, um, there will be more, but, um, I, I as long as they, these do well, cause I didn't want to, I didn't want to buy like have her do 200 and then they don't sell. So, um, I want to make sure cause <laughs> you know, she does these by hand. So they're, they're well made. Um, Thank you. Thank you for that link again. Um, yes, the live sale videos, please would be interested in the bags. Awesome. <laughs> Everybody's putting in their donut orders for Elizabeth. Chocolate crepe fill for me, please. <laughs> Great. Oh, Kristen, um, do I know how much they'll be? I think the large bags are 25, Kristen. Um, I'd have to go on her website. Hang on. Um, I'm like, what's my password? I have my iPad here, but I'm like, my password... Um, I think they're 25, um, but, um, sorry, <laughs> I'm trying to get to my, my link here. But anyway, I think that's how much they are. Um, yeah, cause she has a variety of bags and they all have, you know, kind of a variety of price. They're commensurate with the price. So, um, it was so cute, Elizabeth. Awesome. Oh, <laughs> Elizabeth says got the order, but <laughs> it may be cold when you get it. Yeah. Seriously. Oh, Kristen says you can do 25. Okay. Oh, sorry. I'm going back and forth in my, my things here. Tambi says she needs another bag. Yeah, just wait until the new year. And it'll be good because if you're like, well, I have to wait until my January budget. Good. Then you can wait <laughs> because, yeah, it's a new year. Like, honey, that's so last year. I This is the new year. I mean, we're we're in the new year here. This is the new budget. It's a new year. 
Uh, does that work? Does that work for you? <laughs> um, oh yes, Alicia, <coughs> excuse me about how about having her on talking about her bag. Um, yeah, you know what? I should, Hey, that's a great question in the new year for the broadcasts. Would you like me to treat this more like a podcast and have guests on? Um, I would love to. We tried to do one one time with Kelly with Kiss Looms, but for some reason, um, her, um, I think it was on Kelly's side. I think it's a bandwidth issue. Um, I think they have to like turn everything else off and then go via mobile um, whenever I have a guest on. But if you'd like to let me know if you would like to say um, guests 2018 or something like that. Um, actually, I have the opportunity to um, have, um, I could have some designers on. Um, I could have, uh, there's a designer at Annie's that uh, I thought about having on to talk about her um, spring line when that comes in, if y'all want to see that. Um, Trish, if you'll look in the, the comments, there should be the website. Um, well, now I have to wait to get your bag, Liz says. <laughs> oh, oh, Jennifer, he's the black sheep of the family. You know what I should have done? I should have told her to make one the black sheep. Oh, <laughs> I probably would have had people upset with me though, but it would be all in good fun. <laughs> She should do a black sheep version. Aw. Aw, there should be a black sheep version. I think what would be fun is if you did um, a black sheep and a white sheep version, but then also had one that had a bunch of flecking on it because um, it got into a bunch of junk. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, oh, Heather would like to see more plus size come out, like plus size outfits. Um. Heather, by the way, Yarn Inspirations, they have a lot of patterns that go up to 5X. In fact, um, I consider myself a 3X, but kind of a cusp of a 4 almost, just because I want more room, like if it's a poncho. Um, and I tried on their, um, I think they thought it was a 2X, but I tried on one that I think was more of a 3X. This poncho that they did has this like real, a lot of color stranding, almost looks woven um, this past year, and it worked really well. But a lot of their sizes will go up to 5X, so that's really awesome. Um, so yeah, go go check that out. Um and you can even ask him and be like, hey, is there any way that you guys can um, help me with this pattern, get it to this size? And you could always ask. Um, their designers are pretty awesome. Um, I need project ideas after doing scarves, dishcloths, and cowl. Beginner knitter. Okay, so you need beginner knitter stuff. Um, and go. be sure and check out my... Um, my Good Knit Kisses channel because we have, uh, if you go to good, uh, youtube.com slash goodknitkisses and um, go search in the um, the needle library. And I think I have a Yarn Inspirations library. I think Joanne made me a Yarn Inspirations one. It's all the videos I've done for them. And there's a lot of beginner ones and some intermediate ones. And in fact, there's some intermediate stuff that when I do it, it makes it more like doing a beginner one just because there's a video. Like a lot of times, um, don't be afraid to try an intermediate pattern that someone is doing a video uh, knit along with because um, it actually helps. Um, it helps give you that extra reassurance and they're really showing it to you. And don't forget that YouTube has controls on it, even on your mobile devices now. So you can actually um, hit the speed button. So if someone's talking a lot like me, you can hit that button and they'll just talk really, really fast. And it doesn't make their voice go up really high when they start talking really fast. Like that. It'll just... Talk really fast, like this, and blah, 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 like that. Or you can have it talk really slow. So if they're knitting or crocheting or something, you can have it just go, it'll slow it way down to the pace that you need it. So try that out um, next time you're working on uh, something that you need it um, fast or slow. Also, you can double tap to the right or the left, and it goes back or forward um, 10 seconds. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, do, 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 do. You have a handmade knitting bag, Barb says, that has knitting sheep on it. Love your pattern fabric, though. Awesome. Logo, wear it class shut, and maybe April says. Yeah, the bag that we're going to be doing, okay, if you're just coming on, the bags that Aaron, that um, Aaron Lane has that I'm going to be doing for the first one is a drawstring shut. So it's like this, like that. And then um, this is not the large bag, but it's similar. Um, the large bag is flat. This one has like a square bottom. And uh, so it stands up more. Um, but this one, that's how you open it. You put your fingers in and do it. If I have it closed like this, 
if I tug on it, my project isn't coming out. So like if I knock this over, I'm on the bus or subway, shoot. If I'm on that, it won't come out. So anyway, um, ooh, I'm running late on time. Uh, let's see. Any ideas? Okay. Can we expect to see new ideas for patterns for luminators? Yes, there's actually a couple of patterns um, coming up. Oh, I've got that call warning again. I'm going to have to get off, off here in a second. Where is that snooze button? Come on, snooze. Snooze. <laughs> I dropped my coffee, y'all. That was not good. Shoot. Hang on. Oh, party foul. Party foul. Oh, no. All right, hold on. Ah! Okay, that was not yarn I needed. Okay, I saved it. Okay. <laughs> okay, so large bags are 25. Thank you, Carol, for confirming. Yes, there are patterns coming out. I'm actually, we're working on something right now. Um, I'm not telling you who's helping me so you don't bother them. <laughs> hey, Louisa, I see you jumped on. I spilled my coffee. Ah. Um, yeah, guests are fun, Lisa says. Guest 2820. Okay, awesome. Thank you for the feedback on the guest stuff. Uh, Ellie says, I'd love the black sheep one. Awesome. I'm with Heather on plus size. Oh, this is great feedback. Okay, so if you just jumped on, um, what I what we've got a link here in the comments. Carol has put it in there for us. Thank you, Carol. It's a link to YouTube, um, a community tab. So not all YouTubers have this, and I had this apparently, but I didn't realize that I could that it was like a special spot for me to be able to post just to you guys. So like it'll show up in your mobile feed if you're signed in on YouTube, um, and and if you go to this tab on the desktop. Top, but you go to it and it has questions and um, like right now the question is about 2018 so you can put your idea there or you can have it on here either one I'd love for them all to be on YouTube but um, anyway just go to that tab and um, and right now I'm asking you what you'd like to see for the new year and then I also will be posting things like polls and stuff I won't I, I promise I won't post more than a, a a day like more than once a day and, and in fact I probably won't even post more than once a week just because I don't want your feed to get so full that you're like oh, I'm sick of seeing Kristen it's not like Facebook it's not like this running thing because what it does is it shows up whatever's in your news feed so if a youtuber has over 10,000 subscribers they have the opportunity to be able to ask you these questions and so um, or or post something like I could take a picture and post from my life if I wanted to or post whatever right now it's a picture of it's just a picture of me and then I had this question and so anyway so if you want to go um, weigh in your opinion there it's great and it also gives me opportunity to do polls which would be awesome if you have something you want me to take a poll on, give me the idea. Like, write it down and be like, Kristen, can you ask people and this and, like, help a girl out? Like, tell me the choices you want me to put on there. Seriously, um, I don't mind. I would love that. Um, it's a community tab. Let's be a community, right? Um, okay, would it be nothing but guests or would you still do tutorials? Yeah, I, I pick up and do tutorials and stuff, too. Um, I don't want to do just guests. I want to be able to, like have the freedom to pop in. I mean, maybe I could schedule um, a guest a month or something like that. Um, I'm not even sure I'm like prepared to do that. I'm just, I'm just, I'm saying like I could have a couple of people. I'm not, I'm not planning to do a big podcast or anything. Um, oh, Martha says make one with lots of white sheep and then one black sheep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Here's some coffee. Thanks, Ellie. Um, it did get on my yarn. Mm -hmm, Joan, it did, but I saved a little bit. Um, it got, I, it landed right on my plastic pad thing for my carpet. So it's like not absorbing or doing anything like that. So anyway, okay. I'm running through these questions and then I'm about to head out here. Oh, okay. Definitely more illuminating projects. Okay. I have a illuminating thing coming up. Um, I have a needle pattern that I'm working on right now, which I am going to convert over to the loom. Um, I just have to figure out which one I want to do. Um, so I'm actually going to be hopping on a call here with your inspirations here in a minute. And, um, we're going to be talking about some stuff. So, um, I just wanted to, um, talk with you guys, uh, for my, for my weekly, by the way, next week, um, my kids are, <laughs> my kids are on a uh, winter break with me. So, um, on the 18th, we will be broadcasting. I'll still be here. And then I think is the following Monday. What's the following Monday? Is it? 
I need to look. What's the calendar say? Is that, oh, okay, Christmas Day, Christmas is a Monday on the 25th. I am not broadcasting on the 25th, so I'll be here next week on the 18th, and then we will not broadcast on the 25th because it'll be Christmas Day here. So I want you guys to enjoy your families. Um, if I, I may pop on randomly and be like, hey, and send you guys some love because I will be thinking about you, but my family, of course, in the morning, we will be doing our thing. <laughs> I'll probably be up making breakfast first. You know, I don't get a break. <laughs> and then January 1st, New Year's Day is, uh, it also falls on a Monday this year, which is the day after my birthday. So, but it will have been two weeks if I don't do that. <laughs> so I may hop on on New Year's Day. <laughs> maybe, maybe we'll toast with a mimosa. <laughs> Is that appropriate for good knit kisses? I don't know, but on New Year's Day, it probably is. Um, yeah, Ellie's, <laughs> Ellie, I'll try. <laughs> That's the answer. I'll try. Um, Judy, um, one more thing. Judy's saying, need a tutorial on how to convert knit to loom knit would be great. Um, actually, I have several videos of things that I've been translating from needles to loom throughout the year. And some of them I talk about it as I go, and some of them I just have done it. But if you're paying attention or you print off the needle one and then you look at whatever's written for, on my blog for the loom one, you'll see how it's been translated. But I have a, I have on my blog how to convert from a, a needle to loom, but also, and it's got a little chart, but also this year I did a placemat, and in the video it's like a two-in-one. I'm like, well, you do this if you're on needles, if you do this, then you're on loom, and I talk about that as I go. So, yeah, um, anyway, well, ignore your new, new Year's Day appearance then. Yeah, aww. So, I'll see you guys. Um, oh, cool, Mary, you have the grandkids with Mimi for two weeks. That's awesome. Yay, Mary. Um, well, it is so good to see you guys. I'm going to hop on to another call. Um, anyway, love you all. You have a great week. Get all the, um, all the extra shopping done and knitting and crocheting and all the stuff that you got to get done. But be sure and take some time for yourself. So, um, until I see you all next time, we'll have a video coming up this Friday. Um, I hope you have a great day and happy knit and crochet. Love you all. Bye.